So in this video, how I cut extruded T-slot aluminum, and I cut a lot of uh, 40, 80 extrusions. I make these rigs and a lot of other things, and I'm cutting every day. My saw is always, always going, and I just want to take you through some of the process. And so I cut all my profiles on a chop saw, and originally it was an abrasive chop saw, but don't use an abrasive disc. Uh, it just makes a mess of the aluminum, it melts it, and it, it's no good. So I took that abrasive wheel off and I put on a regular carbide tipped wood cutting blade. And it's just because it's just what I had. Uh, this was a finishing blade. It was 80 tooth. Now this worked okay. I cut a lot of aluminum with it, but then I upgraded to a specific, this evolution blade and it's for cutting aluminum, especially extruded T-slot aluminum. So it's, I've been using the same blade on the saw now for well over six months and it still cuts uh, perfect cuts and no ragged edges, works really well. So let me take you through the process of some do's and don'ts and I'll show you how I set up for my cuts. So firstly, when you're cutting aluminum, there's a lot of shards and, th and things flying everywhere and a lot of de aluminum dust. So you definitely want to get some type of mask. That's okay. Uh, a little respirator type is better. Always use that because it's nasty stuff. Um, safety glasses, obviously. And it's loud cutting aluminum. Get some good earmuffs. So as far as lubricating the wheel, now a lot of guys use WD-40 sprayed on the aluminum. Some guys use candle, candle wax, rub it on the blade. I started, I used to do that, but now I just cut it dry and it works, it works fine. But uh, a lot of people do recommend doing this, so it's, it's, it's not a bad thing, but I just found it just kind of makes a mess, it goes all, it splatters all over. And so I don't do it and I haven't had any issues with that, but a lot of people recommend it, so maybe it's a good thing. So this is my chop saw with the Evolution blade on it. And because it is a metal chop saw, it has this little clamp in it, which is nice for clamping your extrusions to keep, to keep the material nice and tight against the stop to allow for clean and precise cuts. So I nor normally just use a stop, whatever, whatever size I'm cutting, I have it marked here and then I just clamp a stop so my cuts are always the same. It's nice having a setup where you can just come and work quickly and accurately and having, having a nice bench with, with a stop on it and works, just makes life a lot easier. So. So that's how I cut my profiles. It's pretty straightforward. You can use a wood cutting blade, carbide tipped, or you can upgrade to a nice aluminum blade if you're doing a lot of cuts. It's probably a good idea. So for more information, just check out the description below. And thanks for watching.